Hello dear, so our next topic is binomial theorem and we are particularly reading the multinomial theorem in that. Okay, now you just see that what is the format of the multinomial theorem that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 up till xr whole trees to power n. Got this or not? Now, what are the questions which are being asked on this particular topic? First is the number of terms in this. If you expand this one, then how many number of terms are there? Okay. Now, what is our formula? What is our formula? That is n plus r minus 1. Our formula is n plus r minus 1, c r minus 1. So, the number of terms in this expansion is n plus r minus 1, c r minus 1. This is the formula for that. Okay. Then what is the second thing which are being asked in this kind of question? There is a general term in this. What is the general term of this particular expansion? Okay, and this is a bit different from the binomial theorem. So what is this? It is n factorial upon l1 factorial, l2 factorial, l3 factorial up till lr factorial. You can see it is the generalized format of the binomial theorem also. And what is the main thing? The condition is L1 plus L2 plus L3 up till LR must be equals to N. Got this or not? And what is the third kind of question which are being asked in the multinomial theorem? That is sum of the coefficients. If you expand the whole, if you expand the whole multinomial theorem, then what is the sum of all these coefficients? What we have to do? Simply put X1, X2, X3 equals to 1 okay then what will be your answer it is 1 plus 1 plus 1 how many times it will be it is r times got this or not it will be r times so your answer will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 up till r times of 1 whole raised to power n will be r raised to power n this will be your answer i am just giving you an example for this okay you just understand that your question is x plus y plus z x plus y plus z whole raised to power 10 now what is the first question which is being asked in this okay that is the number of terms now you just see that what is the value of r over here the value of r is 3 why because the number of variables in this is 3 and what is the value of n value of n is the power that is 10 got this or not so here the value of n is 10 here okay so what is our formula it is 10 any n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 okay so your answer will be 12 c2 and 12 c2 will be equal to 66 so you can just imagine that how many number of terms will be there Okay, and you cannot find out this by just expanding this one. That will be a very, very lengthy process. Okay, and what is the second thing which is being asked in your examination? That is the general term of this. What is the general term of this? You just see that formula. There is n factorial right now. n factorial will be the tan factorial upon l1 factorial, l2 factorial, l3 factorial into x raised to power l1, y raised to power l2 and z is for l3 okay and here l1 plus l2 plus l3 must be equals to 10 this is the condition if you don't follow this condition you cannot find out because that term will not exist in the expansion okay now suppose you want to find out the coefficient of x square y raised to power 5 and z is for 3 so what it will be value of l1 is value of l1 is 2 value of l2 is 5 and value of l3 is 3 so the coefficient of this particular term will be 10 factorial upon 2 factorial into 5 factorial into 3 factorial i think that's very very easy you can find out the coefficient of any term in the multinomial theorem suppose you are being asked that what is the sum of the coefficients if you want to find out the sum of coefficients of all the terms in the expansion then what we have to do we have to put the values of x y and z equals to 1 that will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 times whole raised to power 10 the answer will be 3 raised to power 10 so by this manner yeah or in this manner you can easily do all the questions of multinomial theorems okay ideas